Good everyone, I hope you're having an amazing day. Um, so today I'm going to talk about the Salesforce Connect, the, the hands-on around the Salesforce Connect. Uh, in my previous episode, I talked about different integration pattern and the last one, the data virtualization, where I talked about the Salesforce Connect, uh, which seems to be the best fit. So the, the reason why we use Salesforce Connect, think about a scenario. Uh, let's talk about this scenario, right? What are we going to implement? I got two orgs, okay? This is a Wilson Brewery org, which takes care of everything to do with the brewing stuff. And this is a regular org. Um, but for some reason, uh, this specific org, right? Let's call it as a Brewery org and the regular org, right? Just to keep it simple. So the regular org would love to see the whiskey drinkers, you know, information, uh, you know, uh, but the the thing is, uh, the regular org do not want the data to be replicated. It means it should not uh, take up the, the data space in the regular org. So uh, we don't want to replicate this, this data uh, within this regular org. So in that scenario, we will have to use a Salesforce Connect. And using Salesforce Connect, uh, you will uh, see the data as if it's, a, it's, it's the org data and we won't be copying any data right there won't be any data replication that's happening here and you can query you can you can do crud operation on the data as well okay so we're gonna do do how to configure that right now and that it's pretty straightforward you don't have to write a single piece of a code which is which is great right because the the, the thing is that it's not a great solution when you have to uh jump into the code it's always good to use the point in uh, click solution. So we gonna look at this the Wilson Brewery. Uh, that is our the um, uh, the source org, okay, uh, which holds the information about the whiskey drinkers, right? And the regular org, which is our destination org, which will like to see the whiskey drinker inf information getting flown through, okay? Now, so we have to do a few settings. So first, we're gonna focus on the destination org. We're gonna worry about the source org later okay so now how do you expose this data to um to the destination to the source org, right so obviously we need to do some kind of configuration uh within the dest uh, destiny uh, sorry within the source org uh or wilson brewery org so that the data can be exposed outside Wilson Brewery, okay? So for that, what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a connected apps, okay? It's pretty straightforward. Just go to um, the gear code icon here, the setup, okay? And we go to, uh, just type here, app manager, okay? And I'm gonna type app manager here, and we're gonna close this Wilson Brewery one here, just to keep, so that we only have two tabs open, just to keep it simple. And now open the new connected apps, yeah, and type the name. Let's say uh, we'll, uh, Sales, Salesforce Connect app, yeah, and you can put contact email, demo the test. Um, I just wanted to un enable OAuth, right? Call back URL. Um, so for now, for temporary being, right, we're going to go to www. Uh, okay, you know what? Just just hold on for a second here. Okay, we don't need. Uh, we need to uh, fill the callback URL, which will be the URL of this uh, the destination org. So for now, what we're gonna do? We're gonna give the full access here, right? And we're gonna do an access and manage your data. We're gonna give this as well. Okay, and rest of the stuff we are pretty much good to go. Uh, but we need a callback URL now. To have a callback URL uh, on the destination org, right? We gotta go to the setup here again. Okay, this is a destination org, which is a regular org. So, like I said, I have two tabs open. The first tab is the Wilson Brewery tab, and the second tab is the regular tab, so that you don't get confused. Okay. Now, in the second tab, which is the destination org. Go to setup, right, and go to auth, right? We just configure the auth provider, okay? And then we will create new, right? Now, use the Salesforce because we are using Salesforce to Salesforce, right? Okay, now we're gonna use the um, 
so we can use the Wilson brew okay app right uh, consumer key uh, we gotta put something here because what happens is that if you don't use it it will use the default Salesforce connected app so just put a zero zero for now okay because we are after the callback URL and you can't save this without having a callback uh, without having consumer key as you can see the red sign right the red uh, lines that indicates that these are the mandatory fields right uh, so we're gonna save it okay so we are after this okay this callback URL this is what we are after pretty nice and easy right okay so we're gonna put it here now um, we're gonna go save continue it's gonna take time okay so we are after this consumer key okay copy this one Go back to the your destination org, right? So remember, I put the zero zero. We got to change it. Just put this, okay? We put it copy here. Okay, now delete this as well. Now go back to your source org, which is which is the Wilson Brewery org. Um, consumer secret, okay? Just copy this, right? Fantastic, right? Now and copy this as well. Copy here and save. That's all we have to do in terms of configuring auth provider, okay? Auth provider, which is great. Authorization provider in simple terms, right? So we have configured it pretty nice. Now, we don't have to do much on this side, right? So we can keep it as such for now. So let's go back to the destination org again and look for external. So the way the Salesforce Connect works, right? Um, so this is a... Uh, destination org where which is expecting the data from the source org so the where it will store your the whiskey drinker information it goes under external objects okay so that's where the external objects comes in the picture so you pull the data from a source right which is your Wilson Brewery org and the data get pulled into external object okay so now to configure that you need to configure the external data source okay so the first what we've done we configure the authorization provider which is important which helps you talk to your wilson brewery app using the connected app what we created on the wilson brewery side right which is the source okay now go to external data source and we got a new external source and what we're going to do so we will copy this url here yeah which is the url of the source okay external data source we can say a wilson brew the external okay and type we just we are after see we got different options here right or data two or data four but we are after cross org salesforce connect right so because it's 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 between uh two different salesforce orgs right okay so we're gonna use that as a custom url we're gonna go choose this uh i'm gonna use this to 50 api right just and external search i want this to be writable right and identity type i don't want per user so that i don't want the user to log in per individual user i'm gonna make it name uh, principle authorization provider is the same what we created just right now so that's a Wilson Brewery app and the scope okay so now scope look at the scope here okay so the scope is full right full access so all you have to do just type full okay and save okay now it asks you to log in so now you have to log into the Wilson Brewer okay so because that's what you have to log in and let's see if it works okay so it asks you to do allow access so allow it so what are you trying to do so when you try to so we are in the source org right so sorry destination org when the destination org asks you to uh save something right it asks you to log in so you have to put the login of your uh, source org okay so that it syncs between the destination and the source okay now it's all good now you gotta validate it and sync 
Now, when it asks for validate and sync, you have to choose which object you are interested into, okay? Which is pretty straightforward. So we are interested in Tavisky. Now I'll go to W, uh, somewhere here. Uh, yeah, so whiskey drinker, this is what we're after. Yeah, and we're going to sync it. And it's going to take a while, you know, so currency. So don't worry about the single currency for now. That's just a warning, so, so forget about it. Okay, so now let's look at the external objects. Okay, and uh, so we got an external object created. When you create a data source, right, it, and you link the objects you wanted to sync, so external, so this will get created automatically. Okay, you don't have to do much. Okay, now we have to see this somewhere, right? So what we're going to do, we're going to create a tab. Okay, so which is the best way to do that? Always. Oh, come on. So go to tabs. Okay, and um, now I'm gonna do new. So look for whiskey drinker, right? And I'll just put any anything you want. It's not anything. Nothing fancy about it. So default on. Next. Go to next. Save. Okay. So I'm in the destination org. Okay. So. So that's good. Now go to the stick tac tac icon. And it's going to do whiskey, drinkers. All right. So let's go here. Uh, this is the, come on. That's very strange. So whiskey drinkers. Okay. So let's see what, what we got. This is the source one. Okay. So idly, you should be able to see these three information here. Okay. So go here and you do here. Voila. You got three, right? So think about it. We haven't written a single piece of a code, right? And you can still sync the data. And there's no data replication happening within uh, a destination org. Okay. Now let's go to Jack Daniel here. So this is my destination, right? So now I wanted to put the fair, so favorite risky. I just going to put as a green label, right? So Think about it, okay? Go to this, uh, go to this um, source. So right now, we got no favorite whiskey here, okay? So I'm changing the data from the destination org, okay? So I wanted to make it as a green label, just, okay? And I've saved it. Now let's see if you can reflect the change here. Uh, let me reflect it. Here you go, green label reflector, okay? Let me do if I can do that other way around, okay? So I wanted to change the whiskey name to Jack Daniel Plus, okay? Save. And what I'm gonna do, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna refresh the record. And, all right, so hang on a second. See, uh, the name got changed, right? Jack Daniel Plus. So it's by direction, right? So you change it here, it get reflected on the other side, you change it the other side, it get reflected here. That's why I put that writable, right? There's a tick, tick box I put, if you remember, uh, when I created an external data source, right? So I put a tick box saying it should be writable. So, so like I said, this is pretty straightforward. You know, you don't have to write a piece of a code. Salesforce Connect is very powerful. Read about it more. You, you know there are other options as well. All data two, all data four, and you can write your own custom adapter. I'm gonna definitely show you how to write a custom adapter. At times you might have to use a code, right? So for this is just an introduction to the Salesforce Connect, how to do a cross org. So yeah, that's that's all I wanted to talk about today. So I hope you enjoyed today's session and learned something from today. Um, so wherever you are. Uh, have a great Sunday. Take care. Bye-bye.